And we are learning more tonight about the circumstances surrounding the death of a Calumet County woman. That information coming from court documents revealing today that she had been beaten and investigators are continuing to try to build their case against her longtime boyfriend. The body of 39-year-old Michelle Yeager of Chilton was discovered Sunday about four miles northeast of Brilliant. Yeager's longtime live-in boyfriend Roger Rosenthal was in Manitowoc County Court today and he is expected to be charged within a few days with hiding Yeager's body. Fox 11's Lou Hillman has this evening's new details. It's a death investigation that could become a murder investigation. It's very apparent that things just are, are pointing in that direction, you know, that um, finding a body out in a, this rural area um, obviously was, um, from evidence at the scene, was placed there. New court documents are shedding light for the first time on the circumstances surrounding Michelle Yeager's death. According to a probable cause affidavit, a forensic exam of her body was done on Tuesday. It showed she had trauma to the back of her head, resulting in severe bruising, hemorrhaging to the eyes, and cuts to the mouth. The document also says Jaeger's body was found by two men that her longtime boyfriend, Roger Rosenthal, has hunted with for a number of years. Investigators with the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department reported finding Jaeger's body covered by bags and branches and strapped down to a sled. According to the court documents, some of the items used to dispose of Jaeger's body matched those taken from the couple's home in Chilton. On Wednesday, Rosenthal appeared by teleconference in Manitowoc County Court. Prosecutors say he will be charged with hiding a corpse. The state will be filing a criminal complaint by the close of business on Friday, and we'll take it from there. Now, Rosenthal continues to be held at the Manitowoc County Jail in a $50,000 cash bond. He'll be back in court again on Monday. Reporting in Manitowoc County, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. According to search warrants, friends of the couple told police that they were having problems and that Rosenthal was in an online relationship. That woman told police Rosenthal had given Jaeger an ultimatum to move out by January 8th. That, as it turns out, was one day before Jaeger was last seen alive.